what you can see on the table is everything you need to make this oven and and all of it combined is is around 20 20 US dollars the box itself is basically you probably get it for free somewhere the heat gun is maybe 15 to 20 dollars you need a basic model there's some universal goo a couple of bucks aluminum foil again a couple of bucks a putty knife and and basically what you see the dial is is what I'm going to use to measure the, the temperature of the air inside inside the box there are also some pins uh, you basically do not need this and this the, the measurement device I'm going to use it just to confirm the, the temperature inside it to be sure that my that my cardboard box aluminum foil combo oven is working Okay, the first step, the first step to do is, is to basically cut off these, these parts of the box. The box will be inverted, and you, you will not need this. The box will be put on the table like so. So, we are going to Okay, the next step is going to be to take your heat gun and I'm going to, I'm going to be inserting my heat gun into the box from above. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your heat gun, take a marker, and it's going to go through. You can then again take a putty knife, take a putty knife and cut out the circle. So, this will be your entry point for the heat gun. As you can see, it fits there somehow. You can use some duct tape or something else to, to keep it in place, but once you insert the attachment from the other side, it's going to stay in place just fine. Okay, the next step is the most critical step of the process. It's actually the covering of the inside of the box with aluminum foil. The aluminum foil is the, is the key ingredient in this whole operation. And it's what makes it, it. It's what keeps the heat inside the box and keeps reflecting the heat from wall to wall and keeping all the temperature inside and basically baking the parts that are coated with the with the with the paint. So in order to get the to get the aluminum foil to stick properly to the insides, I've got some universal goo, which you do just fine. Cover the inside of the box with a bit of goo. To keep the aluminum foil in place. As you can see, I have glued the inside of the walls with aluminum with, with glue and, uh, and put the aluminum foil on top. I'm also going to take some Managed to get some glue on this. I'm going to take some of these things, these basically pins, as you can see, and I'm going to add some points to basically reinforce the, the structure of the box and keep everything in place. You don't need too many of these. Best to move the box aside for a bit and prepare the surface, actually the bottom of the box. So I'm actually just going to use the table. We obviously want reflection on the bottom as well. 
this should provide the desired effect. It's time to put the box on top. And, and use the hole that you have made before for the heat gun and get the heat gun in. So, for that, uh, since the aluminum foil is actually covered the hole, you want to cut, cut up, cut out the aluminum foil. I'm going to add, because this is going to be the hottest part of the box, actually the oven, I'm going to uh, add some extra aluminum foil here to provide additional insulation to this part. Now what you want to do, you want to get this attachment for the heat gun. This attachment is going to help disperse the heat better. And it's also going to help hold the heat gun in place. Okay. Now, if you remember the bits that we cut off initially, I'm going to take one of these bits and I'm going to Oops. And I'm going to I'm actually going to cover it with aluminum foil. Okay, there we go. See this is just the right. So initially I'm going to, to use the stronger setting and see how quickly and how far the temperature rises. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on the gauge now. As you can see, right now it's below 20 degrees Celsius. I'm going to start the heat good now. As you can see, in around one or two minutes, the, the interior of the box, the air in the inside of the box slash oven 
reached 120 degrees Celsius. I, I'm certain that with the accumulation of of the hot air from the from the heat gun, the the box can uh, reach even even higher temperatures. And this is a very good alternative. Such a simple, cheap, and easy to make oven is is actually much better than, than buying an oven to use just for baking painted parts. And it's uh, it, it basically saves you money and gets you the results you needed. This is very useful for for heating up and baking any parts covered with high temperature paints. It can also be even used for other purposes to bake and heat up uh, maybe even clay clay figurines or or some other things. Basically, any things that you need heated up and baked and do not want to put in an oven where you bake food for you and, and for yourself and your family.